Hi and welcome back to Bickington Photographic Club's Photoshop YouTube tutorials channel. Uh, Photoshop specifically this one, this is actually number three in a series of introductory uh, lessons in using Adobe Photoshop CC. Uh, if you've been following along you'll have seen the first two, we've been using this image throughout. Uh, we had a look at our workspace and we had a look at the camera raw tool that opens our images prior to bringing them into Photoshop. And now we've got them here we can start doing some of the things that Photoshop does exceptionally well. Uh, in particular this tutorial is going to look at the spot healing um, tools within the program. So we're going to be looking at removing things essentially that we don't want to appear in the picture. Uh, now we can use the zoom tool first of all um, to get a little bit closer to our image and the reason that we want to do that is because the three things that we want to remove from this particular image are this section of tree above the blue car because it's a bit of a distraction, these power lines or telegraph lines that run through here uh, and the post up here. They're not offering anything to the picture, they're not giving anything to the overall story so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of them. Uh, first and foremost we're going to use the spot healing brush um, as you can see from the little drawing there it's very very simple to use it's very similar to a paintbrush in the way it operates you can choose the brush size you can choose to either use content aware a texture or a proximity match now content aware is something which us photographers who get things in pictures that they really don't want there has actually made photo editing a wonderful thing um, and I can show you why quite easily by selecting a brush size which is going to cover your two lines here um, what you can do is just simply stroke a line through here and let the software do its work and bang gone. Uh, so very very easy that's taken those out now you may want to get a little bit closer um, which you can obviously do I've used the keyboard shortcuts there which is uh, control and plus on a Windows machine it's command and plus if you're using uh, a, a Mac machine and obviously if you're doing individual spots you can see that actually what it's doing is it's sort of moving the lines along it's not getting rid of the lines so you need to be a little bit bullish with what you do choose a section there you go um, reduce the size of your brush now that you've zoomed in slightly and carry on along and reduce again carry on along and carry on along and very broadly speaking if we zoom back out again that's control minus or command minus our cables have vanished now obviously that particular cloud's got a very very smooth curve over it where you were using your brush what you can do if you want to is just using a brush is just break that up a little bit by throwing a couple of random spots in just to give it some movement and some texture back um, now it looks a little bit less obvious and anywhere else where it might look like you've drawn a line to remove something you can go in and just spot to your heart's content until you're happy so that's using the spot removal uh, or spot healing brush in content aware mode um, we're going to do something slightly different with uh, the tree here and we're going to show you that in the next tutorial so it literally follows straight on from this one so it'd be a good idea to jump into that one and see what we're going to do this is Bickington Photographic Club's uh, YouTube's tutorial channel this was Photoshop session 3 using our spot healing brush to get rid of those lines and we'll see you in lesson 4 when we're going to get rid of this part of the tree thanks for watching see you soon